Hi friends, welcome to geometry. In geometry, we're going to look at shapes, we're going to look at how they move, we're going to look at how they relate, we're going to look at how they are connected to each other, and we're going to take a look at a familiar notion in this, our first lesson here. We're going to take a look at the idea of symmetry, we're going to take a look at the idea of reflections, things that are very, very familiar to us. So, symmetry. Symmetry. How do I know if that figure has symmetry? Well, we imagine that there's a line running right down the middle. And if we were to take the right side of that rectangle and fold it over the red line, every point would match exactly. You've done this with pieces of paper before. Similarly, the blue line is a... That's a terrible line. Is a symmetry line. The blue line is a symmetry line. It runs right through the middle of the rectangle. If we were to fold the rectangle top down, hot dog style, we would have a perfect match. But... If we were to draw a diagonal in, this point here would end up somewhere out here, and this point here would end up somewhere out there, and so we would not have symmetry in that case. Let's try to drive home what I mean by symmetry. Consider this point going over the blue line. Let's give it a name. We'll call this point E. If we're going over the blue line, we measure our distance to the mirror, and that's always on a 90 degree angle. We go straight at the mirror, and then we go straight out from the mirror to, a, to what's called the image point, and that image point will be called maybe E prime. Maybe. When we find that there is a symmetry situation, you take any point, you go to the mirror, you go through the mirror, that's where your image lies. To the mirror, through the mirror, that's where your image lies. So if we were to take the letter, oh, the letter C, the letter C has, in theory, if I drew this right, horizontal line symmetry, because you can fold the top down on the bottom and the thing matches up. If I were to take the letter H, the letter H has vertical line symmetry, because you can draw a line right down the middle of the H, fold the one piece on top of the other, and they match up. Well, if you can do that where the figure is drawn and you draw symmetry in, well, then surely you can do it by taking points and reflecting them over other things. So here's some, some line, and I have some triangle here. This is triangle J-E-T. And I want to find out what its image looks like when we reflect it over line L. Well, how does that work? Remember, for every point, we go to the mirror and then through the mirror. So we go to the mirror, and then we're going to go through the mirror. I'm going to just clone and bring out. This is point E prime. We go from T to the mirror, and then we go through the mirror, and that's point T prime. From J, we go to the mirror, and then we go through the mirror, and that's point J prime, and we connect the dots. If we did it right, 
J prime, E prime, T prime should be the mirror image of jet looking over line L. Okay, so how does all of this translate to the coordinate plane? In the coordinate plane, and take some point, take some point in the coordinate plane, let's call that point 4, 2. 4, 2. And what I want to do is I want to reflect that point over the x-axis. That's the x-axis. This is the y-axis. The horizontal axis is the x-axis. I want to know where that point is going to go upon reflection in the x-axis. Well, we measure to the mirror and then through the mirror and we have our image. So if A is the point for 2, A prime is the point for negative 2. Notice that the points are very similar. They have the same x coordinate. They even have basically the same y coordinate, but one is positive and the other one is negative. Uh, similarly, if we were to take the point oh, 5, 6, call that B, and we were to reflect it over the x-axis. This thing here is the x-axis. We'd measure to the mirror, through the mirror, and we'd have B prime down here at 5, negative 6. So what do you suppose will happen when we try to reflect over the x-axis the point x, y? Well, when we, reflect, when we reflected 4, 2, we got 4, negative 2. When we reflected 5, 6, we got 5, negative 6. So when we reflect x, y, the x stays the same and the y gets negated. And that seems to be a general rule. And in fact, it is the rule. Well, what happens when we reflect over the y-axis. Now this thing here is the y-axis, that's our mirror now. So when I want to take a look at our purple point, A42, I want to take that point and reflect it over the y-axis. We measure to the mirror and through the mirror. Um, I've already used prime, so I'll use double prime. And that appears to be negative 4 and positive 2. A became a double prime. Similarly, I could take the orange point B and measure to the mirror and through the mirror, and this thing will be B double prime, and that happens to be negative 5, positive 6. So what do we notice each time? We notice that the X coordinate gets negated and the Y coordinate stays the same the x-coordinate gets negated, the y-coordinate stays the same. Before we come back to class together, you should be able to take several points and reflect them over the x-axis and then over the y-axis. I would like you to be able to reflect the point 3, 1, over the x-axis and then over the y-axis. And then I would like for you to take on somewhat of a challenge and reflect the point negative 2, negative 4 over the x-axis and the y-axis. Those would be points that I would want you to be able to reflect over the x and then over the y. And you can do it either by measuring to the mirror or through the mirror, or you can do it with the rules we've just talked about. But those aren't the only lines we can use. Those are not the only lines we can use. Sometimes it is helpful to use the y equals x line. The y equals x line is that line on a 45 degree angle. Oh, that's a terrible line. I'll just draw it in the way people have been drawing in lines since smart boards were invented. 
There we go. That's the y equals x line. Goes right through the origin. It's got a slope of 1. Up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. So the question is, what happens if I take the point, oh, let's do our 4, 2 from before. 4, 2. This was A. What happens when I reflect over the line y equals x? Well, I measure to the mirror, and then through the mirror, same direction, and I end up here. I end up at 2, 4. Similarly, what was our other point? Our other point was 5, 6. 5, 6. So when I flip over y equals x, I measure to the mirror, through the mirror, same direction, and I end up in 6, 5. Well, what happened to the x and y coordinates when we flip over that line? Well, when we reflect in the line y equals x, the point x, y, it appears that the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate change places. The x-coordinate and the y-coordinate change places. Similarly, I'll go the other way. This is the y equals negative x line. It comes on a 45-degree angle the other way. So I want to know what happens when we reflect in y equals negative x, the point x, y. Well, when we do that, the purple point, we go to the mirror, and then through the, then through the mirror, equal distance. To the mirror, through the mirror, and we end up at, negative 2, negative 4. Similarly, we can take the orange point and we measure to the mirror and then through the... I should just clone. 3, 4, 5, and a half, half. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here. And we end up at negative 6, negative 5. So what happened? Well, 5, 6 became negative 6, negative 5. 4, 2 became negative 2, negative 4. What did we do? The x's and the y's traded places, and they changed signs. Positives became negatives. Negatives became positives. When we reflect over y equals negative x, we trade places and change signs. Now, what's the big important thing I want you to take from this? You could memorize rules, and I'm fine with people memorizing rules. What I really want you to be able to do is draw a mirror and then say, okay, I'm going to measure to the mirror and then through the mirror and figure out where my image is. Now, tomorrow, we'll take a look at some other reflections in some more bizarre lines, and then we'll take a look at what stays the same, what changes when we reflect stuff. Okay, so there you go. That's our first lesson. We'll see you tomorrow.